Quillbot tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Quillbot. Quillbot is more than just a simple rewording tool. It also offers features such as citation generation, documentation translation, and more. In this video, we will show you how to set up your account, how to paraphrase any text using Quillbot's different modes and settings, how to generate citations for your sources, and how to translate documents into different languages. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Quillbot, the first step is to create an account. You'll find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, navigate to the top right corner and click on the account option. This will bring up the login window. Since you don't have an account yet, click on the don't have an account option. This will redirect you to the registration page. On the registration page, you have different options to sign up for a new account. You can use your Google account, Facebook account, or your email address. Choose the method that suits you best and proceed with the registration process. After successfully signing up, you will be prompted to personalize your account. This involves following the on-screen prompts to set up your preferences and customize your experience with Quillbot. If you prefer to skip this step, you can click on the Skip option. In the next step, you will need to select the platform where you want to use Quillbot. The options include Gmail, Google Docs, Word, and any platform where you write on Chrome. You can choose to add Quillbot as an extension to Chrome or integrate it with Word. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's select Add to Chrome and then click on Continue to proceed. Upon clicking Continue, you will be directed to your account dashboard. This is where you can access all the features and settings related to Quillbot. From here, you can begin using Quillbot for various writing and paraphrasing tasks on the selected platforms. Once you access the dashboard of Quillbot, you will notice a left navigation panel that provides various options to enhance your writing experience. This navigation panel serves as a hub for accessing different features and tools. One of the options available in the left navigation panel is the Paraphrasers feature. This feature allows you to paraphrase text or documents effectively. It can be a valuable tool when you need to rephrase sentences or rewrite content while maintaining the original meaning. Another useful feature in the left navigation panel is the Grammar Checker. This tool helps you proofread your text or documents, ensuring correct grammar usage and identifying any potential errors. It can assist in improvising the overall quality and clarity of your writing. If you need to check for plagiarism, Quillbot provides a dedicated plagiarism checker feature. This tool scans your documents and compares them to a vast database to identify any instances of copied or unoriginal content. It can be particularly helpful for students, researchers, and professionals who need to ensure the originality of their work. Quiltbot also offers a co-writer feature which allows you to collaborate and write with other writers in real time. This feature facilitates seamless teamwork and enhances the writing process, enabling efficient collaboration and idea sharing. If you need to summarize lengthy texts or documents, the summarizer feature can come in handy. It condenses the content into a concise and coherent summary, saving you time and effort in digesting extensive information. For generating citations in various formats, such as APA or MLA, Quiltbot offers a convenient citation generator feature. This tool automates the citation process, ensuring accurate and consistent citations for your references. Additionally, Quiltbot provides a translator feature that allows you to translate text to your desired language. Whether you need to understand foreign content or communicate with individuals who speak different languages, this feature can assist you in overcoming language barriers. Furthermore, Quiltbot is compatible with different platforms. You can integrate it with Chrome, MS Word, and Mac OS by clicking on the respective options from the left menu. This ensures seamless integration and accessibility across multiple writing environments. With the diverse range of features and compatibility options available in the Quiltbot dashboard, you have a powerful toolkit at your disposal to enhance your writing, improve your productivity, and overcome language-related challenges. Next, let's see how to write paraphrases in Quillbot. To write a paraphrase using Quillbot, you will need to navigate to the left menu and click on the Paraphraser option. This will take you to the Paraphraser window where you can access the paraphrasing functionality. In this window, you'll find a selection of multiple languages, allowing you to paraphrase text in over 35 different languages. Choose the language in which you want to paraphrase the text. Once you have selected the language, you can proceed to write the text directly in the Paraphrase window, paste the text from another source, or even upload a document that contains the text you want to paraphrase. Quillbot offers different modes for paraphrasing. To change the mode, click on the drop-down menu next to Modes in the Paraphrase window. You will find various options such as Standard, Fluency, Formal, 
Simple, Creative, Expand, and Shorten. Select the mode that suits your requirements. After selecting the desired mode, click on the Paraphrase button. Quillbot will then generate the paraphrased result based on the provided text and chosen mode. Once you receive the paraphrased result, you have the flexibility to further modify or rephrase specific sentences if needed. Simply click on the sentence you want to rephrase and a rephrase button will appear. Clicking on this button will instantly rephrase the selected sentence. Additionally, Quillbot offers various options to enhance your experience with paraphrased text. You can view statistics related to the paraphrased text, allowing you to gain insights into its structure and composition. Furthermore, you can export the paraphrased text or copy it to use it in other applications or documents as required. Next, let's see how to create citations for free. To create citations for free using Quillbot, start by navigating to the left menu and clicking on the Citation Generator option. This will direct you to the Citation Generator page where you have various options to generate accurate citations without any cost. On the Citation Generator page, you can create citations from different sources, including web pages, journal articles, books, and more. Let's say you want to generate a citation from a web page. Copy the URL of the web page you want to cite and then paste it into the designated box under the web page section. After that, click on the Cite button. Quillbot will then generate the citation for you based on the provided web page URL. Similarly, if you need to generate citations from journal articles or books, you can follow a similar process. Copy the URL of the journal article you want to cite and paste it into the appropriate box. For books, you can enter the book title, ISBN, or EAN number to generate the citation accurately. Quillbot's Citation Generator simplifies the process of creating citations by automating the formatting and organization. By utilizing this free tool, you can ensure that your citations are generated correctly and adhere to the appropriate citation style guidelines, such as APA or MLA. Next, let's see how to translate a document in Quillbot. To translate a document using Quillbot, start by navigating to the left menu and clicking on the Translator option. This will redirect you to the Translator page where you can initiate the translation process for your document. On the Translator page, you'll find various options to customize your translation. To begin, choose the language you want to translate the text from. You can accomplish this by clicking on Detect Language to automatically identify the source language and then selecting the desired language from the available options. Once you have chosen the source language, proceed to enter the text you want to translate into the left section of the translator page. You can either type the text directly or paste it from another source. After entering the text, navigate to the right section of the translator page. Here you will find a drop-down menu next to the language English by default. Click on this drop-down menu to select the language you want to translate the text to. Quillbot supports a wide range of languages, allowing you to choose the target language that suits your needs. Once you have selected the source language, entered the text, and chosen the target audience, click on the Translate button. Quillbot will then perform the translation and generate the translated text into the desired language. By following these steps and utilizing the translator feature provided by Quillbot, you can easily translate your documents from one language to another. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Quillbot. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.